The Institute of Ideas Debating Matters competition is the toughest intellectual challenge for 16 to 18 year olds in the UK. We work with over 200 schools in this country and with 400 schools in India in partnership with the British Council. When you come to a, an event like this, and actually as a, as a writer for young people, I meet so many of them, you can't but be impressed how articulate they are, how intelligent, how informed, how committed, if they're given the chance. And what you have to do, I think, is to hold events like debates that really put them in the spotlight, don't patronise them, where you listen to them as adults, because that's really what they are at that age, even if they're young adults, uh, and just give them the opportunity. And that's what we've seen here today uh, in spades. This competition takes you serious, that it's not just doing it uh, for the fun or as we say for the crack. They really do consider your ideas, see where you went wrong and tell you. And I think it's much better that than being pandered to and saying you were wonderful when in fact you weren't. Oh, I've had a series of terrific debates today. The students have been extremely thoughtful. They've worked hard on understanding their subjects. And what we're really making them do is making them think, making them think on their feet. And actually that's an incredibly important skill. Debating matters requires students to address the big issues that affect our world today, from climate change to clinical trials, and from banning the burqa to bankers' bonuses. But the broader picture that emerges of America from these, these cables is a good one. Consider the, the fact that Saudi Arabia has long been pushing for an invasion of Iran, and America has always been resisting um, very strongly. What? Um, what WikiLeaks does, having the spectre of WikiLeaks hanging over you, doesn't encourage you to behave better. It encourages you to do everything in your power to make sure that information can never, ever get out. Um, so I think that our opposition are completely contradicting like their own aims. This is not a test of polish and uh, advocacy. It's more than that. I really like how the judges challenge, challenge us with a variety of questions. I think it gives us a new perspective to think beyond what we've already read. The pressure makes you think, you know, the uh, thinking under pressure is so much more exhilarating than it would have in, in normal circumstances. The whole thing from beginning to end was really impressive because there was a depth and I also was really, really impressed to hear that they'd had special workshops, seminars yesterday and when I looked at the supporting material, magnificent. Key to the success of Debating Matters is the role played by top scientists, writers and business people who cross-examine the students and test their arguments. Uh, Debating Matters is really interesting, they don't patronise, they sort of really go for it. No report was given, which is impressive. Like, they, I don't think there's much else where you get that bombarded with incredibly difficult questions. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty sort of brutally harsh, which is good. The meat of the debate in Debating Matters is, is the question and answer session that follows. And that, I think, is fantastic. That really puts the debaters on their metal and forces them to show what they're actually made of. You know, you're completely ignoring the urgency of the matter that we've got this you know, big population of about 200 million at least in slums or more than that who've got no housing, no health, no education, no infrastructure. We need to eradicate poverty, not the people who are poor. Why do I keep coming back? Why do I break into a trot when I'm invited to take part in debating matters? I suppose the central reason is it is inspiring to see young people at their articulate best. I see them often having to argue for positions that you know that they themselves don't have. And the spin-off from that is they will learn when they're arguing their corner to be able to tap into the views that other people have, to understand where the opponent or whatever is coming from. <laughs> Um, if you are condoning the use of smart drugs for cosmetic neurology, are you not creating a value system based on an ideal that will inevitably lead to a eugenic society? I think you are almost infantilising us by uh, suggesting that we won't be able to cope with what these drugs do and that we won't be able to make the right decisions. Young people are often sort of run down in Britain, uh, the suggestion being they're maybe not as engaged as they should be. But you come along to an event like this today and you see that that's just not true. You know, their, their ideas, their, their enthusiasm, their, their debating skills are exceptionally high um, and it's really just quite a hopeful moment. I've had a, had a wonderful experience uh, and thank you very much for inviting me. We hope you'll take the opportunity to work with us and help bring debating matters to thousands more students.